welcome back to my channel and yep yeah, i'm here with a new nail so clickety clack your girl is back <laughs> today's gonna be a hair video and it is quite it's gonna be quite different because it's not gonna be focusing on natural hair it's gonna be a wig video and i think that is my first wig video so yeah i am going to show you guys how to revive a balding wig um and yeah stay tuned so if your wig is looking like this and you want it to look like this stay tuned and i will show you guys what i do to revamp my wig so this is my wig i completely changed this this wig used to be long and it was balding but I managed to change it into a bob. Okay, it's kind of stiff, but you get the gist. So I've already started working on it, as you can see. Um, but as you can see, it's still not like completely straight, if you get it. There's still a bit of a, a gap going on. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to close that gap if you get what i mean so you, you don't really need too many things you're gonna need a mannequin head with some pins you're gonna need um some of the weave so i made i personally made this wig and this is some of the hair that i used so i'm gonna use that if your hair was kind of if your wig was already like made i think you can still do that but this is what I'm using. Oh, you're also going to need scissors to cut the tracks. This is the tool that you're going to be using to put the hair on. And it's like a little crochet thing. But here it says, it says carbon anti-static comb. I don't know if that's the actual word for it. But this is what I'm using. It would also be useful to have like a comb. So you can just comb some of the hair out of the way and some clips it would be preferred if you had like those long snappy clips but i only have crocodile clips so yeah that's that's just life guys i'm in the most awkwardest position right now as you guys can see there is the knot obviously it's not as neat or whatever but from far it looks okay so yeah so i'm gonna try and make this very easy and you know hopefully you get the gist so the first step is to take some of the hair so that's what i'm gonna do and then cut it so obviously once you do that well it depends on the hair you have my this weave is really fraudulent so this is the actual length of it and this is just a lot of hair they've added to it <laughs> so i'm left with some strands okay so I've started off by just clamping the hair together because the hair just gets mixed up. Everything's moving all over the place. So I want everything still. So that's the first step. I take, I'd say, three strands. So it's, I know it seems annoying, but three strands is actually all you need three strands all you need because if you make if you add more than that you will have very clumpy clumpy hair using this you're gonna put that through the lace you're then going to attach that to the hook you're going to close it like that. 
so that it doesn't come out. And then still holding on. Okay. So as you can see, that's been attached. So then what I do... There we are, that's opened. And then I just crochet that through like that. And that's been attached. I don't know if that's been seen because the way I'm holding this thing is really difficult. So let me just zoom in. Yeah, let's zoom in like that. And then I will show you guys how I did it again. That is how I add hair onto my balding wig. And yeah, it looks so nice. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a very tedious and very time consuming task to do. So if you have the patience, then this is good. If you don't, then I don't know for you guys. And also, i done this with nails, guys. Like, when I do this, I usually do it with no nails. And it's a much quicker process. But this was so hard for me because my nails are just getting in the way. I'm not gripping on things properly and it's getting loose. But, yeah, as you can see, this is really, really, like, it's gone back to how it's supposed to be. Like, a nice parting and... Yeah, it just looks good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Give me a like. Comment on the video on how you think this was. Um, let me know if you guys tried it out. And also subscribe so that I can make more videos for you guys. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.